So here is my robot vacuum. And some people would call it a Roomba, but Roomba is a brand name owned by iRobot. And I got this one from Walmart. It's called an Ion Vac. And it works really good. I don't have a lot of carpet, just really here in the living room. And that's about it. And then I have hardwood floors and it switches between them. And I'll show you what my problem with this is. So as you can see, it actually fits under my couch, but it really doesn't. It kind of fits under the front right here and it squeezes under. And then once it gets under, it gets stuck. At my last house, we had hardwood floors. And what I did is I actually put a piece of wood on top of the leg and raised our old couch up just a little bit and it worked really good to get under the couch. Now with hardwood floors, that was good because that's where the dust would go. It would go up under there. But for the carpet, it doesn't get too dirty under there. It's mostly, you can see, it's in front of my chair because I'm a slob. But what I'm gonna do is try to figure out a way using 3D printing and I'm gonna create a little horn that goes right along this edge here and that when it comes up to the couch, it hits and it causes the bumper to push back. So let's try to solve this problem with 3D printing. So what I'm gonna do is build a couple of little horns that go around this circle, maybe five of them. One here, one here, one in the center, one here and one back over here. Now I could use a micrometer and I could kind of figure out what this angle is and this depth. But really what I need to know is this curve. And again, my software program, if I measured this circle, could break this up into segments for me. But I'm gonna go really old school here and I'm gonna use a piece of blue tape to kind of figure that out. So I have the blue tape on there and I'm just gonna take my pen and I'm gonna crease it so it follows this outline here. And then I can just match that this way. Okay. Hey, check that out. Dad it yourself pen. Hey, if you want one of these, I have them for sale on my Etsy store. And you can check that out with a link in the description. All right, here we go. So here's my arch right here. And if this is 65 millimeters, the gap of the arch is three millimeters. That'll be easy to figure out. And then I want to make this offset about 10 millimeters or a centimeter from front to back. So let's go ahead and build that base and sketch up. Okay, so I went ahead and laid out this box that's 10 millimeters by 65 millimeters per my drawing. And then I went ahead and put this arc in here that has a three millimeter offset. And then I can just go ahead and extrude these up. I'll just bring this front arc up about five millimeters. And then I'll bring this inside one up about five millimeters. And then I just need to delete that part right there. We'll just go ahead and pull that line off and that should just go away. And then I can pull that line and that one goes away. And as you can see, I now have my arced piece that increases the height of the arch. And I can actually just get these and put them end to end to end, but I don't need to print those many. But what I want to do is maybe give this a little character and put like a, a horn on it or something. Let me draw that out now. Okay, so I got my butt kicked a little bit on this one. I am by no means a SketchUp expert, and I'm still learning the program. But what I did do is I raised this from five millimeters to 10 millimeters to get a little bit more height. But what I wanted to do was kind of create an arc along here so this top corner was a smooth edge and didn't dig into the furniture, but I just couldn't figure out how to do that. Um, I think if I came back and redrew this as a quarter round and then extruded it out and then figured out a way to arch it from there, I could probably get away with that. Uh, don't feel like doing that. I can probably just take a piece of sandpaper and just soften this edge a little bit and that's done. So, got my model done and I'm gonna go ahead and print five of these so we can glue them onto the vacuum. Okay, I have the 3D printer running. It's printing five of them and it's going to take about an hour. See how they look. All right, print is done. Oh. Oh, wow, that's really on there. Let me get those off there. Oh, there they go. Oh, that one's on there. Well, I got one off. Let's go ahead and put those on and see what happens. So I got the pieces, got me some Starbond uh, CA glue, and we're just going to glue those right on the front of this. See how that goes.
Well, I gave it a little while to dry, and these are definitely on there now. Let's go ahead and see if it works. Ooh, here we go. 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 Okay, go that way. I would definitely say we have ourselves a winner.